Hello everyone, this is the Schumann 100 back with another video review. Okay, this is the second video, so might as well get this started. I'm gonna have to adjust a couple few things before I begin. Mainly the length of the video, I'm gonna try to keep this one short because like really long videos is gonna take a lot of time to edit out. And also, I completely forget to give compliments <laughs> on their last piece, so hmm, yeah, I should probably do that because yeah. As much as it is to tell you what you're doing wrong, it's also important to tell you what you're doing right because, yeah, that's just degrading and also not very helpful <laughs> either way. So yeah, let's just do that. I'm we're gonna have a bit of trouble because yeah, critique, but I'll try. So basically, I could actually be reviewing a person by the, who goes by I C Hazard. X X X is a dash in there somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> I have done this video, I've recorded this like seven times and I still haven't got it right, god damn my memory. <laughs> so, um, basically I'm just gonna just have the entire gallery just scroll far right past. I have to just put this in the video because I'm gonna forget if I don't <laughs> say it out loud. Um, so yeah, let's do some little pros and cons. Oh, is that how it goes? I don't know. So, pros, basically this person has a decent art style, semi-realistic, that's always fun. Um, proportions is good, at least it looks good to me. Anatomy is decent, could be a bit of work. At this point, I'm just gonna have to nitpick the an anatomy. And also, very colorful characters, though a very literal sense, in the sense that it's literal. <laughs> like, um, yeah, very colorful characters, probably gonna have to show a bunch of those as well. The art style itself isn't very colorful, just simple shading and whatnot. So yeah, let's begin the actual critique. It's very short, but uh, I can't... I'm not very used to doing that half of the aspect. It's basically just me, I don't know, rambling about how good it is. But yeah, not much to ramble there. Um, as for what's wrong with the art piece itself, um, one thing I noticed is that it looks skewed. That's one problem I have with this person's art style, with their art style. Everything just has this weird skewed look to it, for some reason. Personally, I think that's just because of a poor construction, basically, like... Let me just get rid of that for now. That little placeholder art. And basically, like, sometimes when some people, when they draw faces, they're just like, Okay, I'm gonna have a circle. Draw... Hang on a second. Draw the jaw line, you have this part and this part. Maybe a line, maybe not. I'm just gonna put the eyes roughly where it is. And yeah, recently I've been doing this as well myself because yeah, it keeps a lot of flow and whatnot, so that's always good. But if you do this, you end up with a very weird look, a skewed look, in my opinion. I don't know, I can't. Who am I to judge their art style, but it kind of feels like that's the problem. Looking at their speed paints and whatnot, it seems they drew everything beforehand, either because it's not confident or something, or just draw it on paper and then proceed to scan it and then digitalize it or something. So I'm just gonna show you what I mean. Hopefully, it looks, it gets the point across. Also, most likely, I won't be doing a full redraw. Rather, I'm just gonna paint over any mistake that I see because that sounds a lot faster than actually drawing everything all over again which is always good take shortcuts wherever you can work smart don't work hard I mean you can work hard but don't be an idiot about it <laughs> and take like, the hardest route possible just be smart about it like put the effort in but know where to take shortcuts so yeah, basically, like when you do something like this, it's like, I don't know, to me it looks fine, but after I give it a day or two, it's probably going to look real, really off, in my opinion. For example, like the ear and this little notch here doesn't seem to line up, and that can seem pretty obvious as well. So yeah, basically, poor construction, you're going to have like a very weird skewed look to everything. And yeah, that's what I'm seeing with the face, especially the face, like you can't, the face has this weird look to it, it's like I don't know which direction the face, is it like a head-on view, is it like slightly turning to the left, 
I know it's not turning to the right, that's for sure, but yeah, it's hard to tell. I spent like a good <laughs> a good half an hour just figuring out where the back of the head <laughs> actually is. Because yeah, the neck goes here and the back of the head is like this. I don't know. It's probably just me not being used to it or something. So yeah, let's just see how much I can fix that actually. Let me see if I can fix that though, because I really don't know. Maybe I'll, um, I'll get lucky this time and actually get it right. <laughs> no offense, but yeah, it's the art style is good. They're very, very creative with what they with the characters. More creative than me, that's for sure. So I'll give them props for that. Because I, for one, cannot do creativity whatsoever. So the neck comes down like that, and the head kind of does that. See, like that just looks off like the head should be a bit more like this yeah that just doesn't look right at all i may need to fix a lot more than i previously had thought give me a second let's just draw a proper head shape we need proper guidelines for this head though because this head is is i don't know what's going on with it <laughs> uh, give me a second just draw the neck i think that should be enough for me to work off well, like the back of the head could just okay, like def like the head definitely goes beyond because this is the hairline right here, unless they have like Rick hair basically. New Rick and Morty, hey, what's up? What's up, my people? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> um, so yeah, but yeah, the hairline is a bit too high in my opinion on the head. It should be a bit lower. Like maybe here at least, and the forehead distance is forehead is very <laughs> hard to draw. It's always either too big or too small, but yeah, that's an art style kind of thing. But definitely the hairline is too high up on the head, and if the head is like this small, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to sit well with me because the head does extend back quite a bit. But I don't know. I just like to draw circles, so could just be my problem because the head should be like square I don't know let's see how far this goes I never said I was professional did I <laughs> did I just drew fuck I just drew on the art give me a second let me just <laughs> see if I can undo this completely nope can't undo that completely oh well I messed that up <laughs> oh man I should have had a backup fuck well let me just Go through all my stolen art here and bring it back in focus. This is a small image, it shouldn't load the. F oh, wait, hang on a second. I already have it open, so I should delete that. Try it again. Retry. I'm not gonna edit this out. We'll do, we'll do it live. Fuck it. <laughs> Doing it live. Okay. Take this image, put it back in, put the background in, and proceed to increase the image to 2000 pixels. Cause that's my minimum s minimal size. Any bigger and it starts chugging. Any smaller and it gets hard to draw on. That's an art tip for any of you people who do digital. Yes, phone. I'm not gonna respond to that. So, um, where was I? Oh yes, drawing the head. So the head basically ends. Hang on, wait. The head b ends here. Starts here. Like. If you want to draw like real semi-realistic, as like this person does, keep in mind to use like boxes from what I hear, because that's always a good place to start. And the head kind of always curves back. And draw like a curve, but I'm not gonna do that. Simplify it, keep it as close as I can to the original art style. Actually, this is intruding a bit too much actually let me just do this eh, probably gonna keep it real time as real time as I can like that just does that looks decent now but the head and the body proportions like the head is like a head-on kind of view but it obviously turning to this direction. I know it's like a very subtle turn, but it doesn't look subtle. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like, I think the person trying to go for like a head-on view. But like I said, it's like 
not subtly enough, because I want to do a head-on view. You better make a head-on view. So you just draw the head, draw the neck. This person's head should, like, if it's going to turn slightly, I'll, I'll give them the benefit of doubt and say they want it to turn ever so slightly. Because I've done that before. Like, you have, like, one side where you see the chubby cheeks, and the other side where it's just straight down. Connects right to the neck. Like that, roughly. Hang on, I need to do this construction properly. Because, oh boy, this is hard. Um, yeah, I think that's what I need to do. This head is a bit too elongated. I'm just going to assume that's an art style choice, so I'm just going to, like I say, keep to their wishes. Because it's very easy to just end up going on a r uh, rant about the person's art style. I mean, art style problems is it's a real thing, though. Always keep that in mind. Like, you could just have a really bad art style and it's good to fix it when it's, when it's gone horribly wrong, but... Oh well, so... Person's heading facing straight on. I'm gonna draw the... Ch this is... Ugh. You'd be surprised how easily you can forget how to draw in just a week, especially with such a weird tool, because I'm drawing with a mouse. So it's kind of easy to forget how to draw really quickly. So I'm gonna assume they're turning ever so slightly. Uh, let's just do that real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, just slightly turn their head. I'm gonna have it just with this. Maybe push the shin forward a bit because they're turning their head slightly. So yeah, this one is pushed the chin way too, way too much to the side. So it kind of looks like they're turn doing like a what do you call that? A, a one third kind of view where the head's like. <sighs> Give me a second. This is so much harder. Like, just drawing is fun, just talking is fun, but when you're drawing and talking, shit goes, hits the fan, okay. Like, basically this view, like this standard view, like that's it, that's what it looks like right now, but from what I'm seeing, I'm assuming that's not what they're trying to do. Because I know for a fact that they can do this view just fine, but the nose doesn't seem to agree with that. I mean, I can have the nose agree with that, but that's not what I'm talking about. Also, the back of the head kind of... The fact that I can't pinpoint where the back of the head is... Is... Is also another clue... To a much more... Subtle angle. Subtlety. Yay. That's... <laughs> that's like the hardest topic you can probably do for art. <laughs> How to be subtle. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. This is gonna be great. Okay. So put that down there, increase the opacity so that I have like some guideline and I'm going to proceed to just duplicate that real quick, get rid of that and shift things around, shall we? Because that's what I'm supposed to, hang on a second, yep, no, fuck it. Shift the eyes. What am I doing again? Hang on, I need to. Okay, the eye. Hmm. Let's just get rid of this. Fix this nose first. No, we could have just fixed the entire face. Treat the face as a whole. Let's try that and just skew it into position. Let me skew this into position and proceed to fix it from there. So skew this. Make it. Give it a. You know, skew. Sorry. Let's warp. I'm gonna make have it go on a curve because that's always a fun thing to do. Add a bit of make it look dynamic and whatnot. Add turning slightly that way. So, oh boy, this is, this is gonna be a tough one. Okay, I'm gonna put this to max capacity and increase that to this and proceed to fix it from here. I'll have. This is a bad edit, and it looks like a bad edit, but I swear, 
<laughs> better eventually. Hang on, I forgot something. I should have fixed the jaw first. Priorities. Fix the jaw first, and then it looked better. <laughs> this jawline, yeah, I had to fix that. Um, oh boy, this is a lot to fix. Let me just bring this up here, then. Bring this up here, that way. I can deal with the colors directly. Just, oh, wrong. Just pick these colors directly. So, whoosh. Is it like black? Okay, we'll just do black, black lines then. Draw a new, I'll draw you a new chin. Uh huh. That's a four? Yeah, there's a three. Three would fit that better. Such thin lines, though. For shame. Thick outlines are where they're at right now. <laughs> I say as, and just have a clip of me saying, I don't want to <laughs> bash on this person art style. <laughs> Ah, great. That's great. I am like the best person ever. We could just hide this ch line there, actually, to be honest. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> ah. Hang on a second. Let me check if I have my five by five average. Okay, average. It's good. Erase the mouth. There's that. See where it gets me so far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not but somewhere it gets me somewhere I'm getting somewhere with this so that's good let me start painting the shit out of this image probably <laughs> I shouldn't paint over this but oh well I like the fact that you use like a warm color like in the neck area that's always nice but they use like oh wait that's the same color it's just like it in now, oh, fuck it. This is what happens when I try to compliment people. So, we have a before and after. Does it still look skewed? It looks like a sassy head <laughs> just <laughs> wobbling back and forth. That's what I'm seeing right now. Um, let's see if this goes. Kind of make the person look a bit fat right now. So you can always fix that by cutting away at this. Oh no, there's a different color. Cutting away at this end here. Not too much though, because the head kind of leads into the neck. Actually, I can cut a bit more actually from that. Cut a bit more. Put this in the neck here. Okay, there we go. Make them a bit thinner. There we go. And the nose. This is not a front view nose, I'll tell you that much. Like this angle, like it's not the fact that you have this line this line here in the center, is it this line is not the problem, it's just the angle of the line is too steep. It kind of shows like you're seeing the side seeing it from like a what do you call that? Profile? No, is it a profile? What's a front view? Front view is is that a profile or just a mugshot? No, that's just scientific term for a mugshot so yeah it's too head on for my in my opinion have the, the nose lead on from the nose and draw the rest of the and just erase the nose completely I like the way the jaw nose is though it's like very simplistic almost I'll put those back in later so tree put in shadows and like that Maybe have it more extreme, cause it's, why not? This is a sexy, sexy person. Slender is where everything's at, even the nose. Nothing is s safe. So yeah, this kind of hints that it's turning that way, so you get to see this edge. As supposed to before and after, kind of see that connection there. Erase that connection, make it less obvious, cause yeah, it's annoying, kinda. Okay. Did I get the nose right? Let's see. There's some proportions. I think I made the nose a bit. Yeah, I made the nose ever so. S what is this? Get rid of the excess. I think it made the nose a bit too. Too long for my life.
striking so you know you will see that brightness is slightly the subtleties okay there we go get rid of that okay I think I got the angle wrong though because this has been like this yeah this angle is off because the heads you know because it should be like down here probably can I warp that into position Nah, don't no need to warp that. It's too much of a hassle. Just draw it in manually. Okay, just put that here. Uh -huh. This is what is this nose anyways? What am I what nose am I drawing right now? Let's see how they draw the nose. Like that, basically. It's like you have whatever that thing is called, filtrum. I think that's what it's called. Scientific terms. I'm just gonna make it round again because you rarely ever see the other nostril, if not ever. We're definitely gonna have to make it a bit wider because this is much more front view than before. Okay, that's done for. Let's draw the mouth. It's like, like I said, it's just like a filter down there. Draw the, point out where the lips are. Anchor your lips. And do whatever this is. Whatever this shape is, do that. Okay. This <laughs> looks like <laughs> this is that is a shitty ingredient of if I ever saw one. Okay, let's see how well that is not subtle. Give me a second. I need to. It's not. I made this a bit too extreme. It's very subtle. Oops. Did I get it right? It's just a cat mouth though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that, oh, I just realized the face I just made. <laughs> Get rid of that. Hang on a second. This is reference and proportions is hard. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is great. I think the mouth position is okay for now. You have to draw a central line, that's for sure. Oh shit, look at that. The difference though, like center line right down here. Mm, just draw a kitty mouth. Okay. And it doesn't follow the curve of the face. Ah. <sighs> Critiques are hard. I should probably do like a basic critique, but oh well. How I made my life decision to do this, I should stick to it. Do line. Get that line in there. Yep, that's the line I need. Black line and. Very subtle curve. Ugh, subtle curves are not a forte per se, but okay, that is close enough. Still has a different feel to it though. I kinda want to get that feel back. Give me a second, I need to fiddle with this. This needs a lot of fiddly diddly diddly diddly. So we're gonna bring this down, shrink it down a bit. Put it right there. It needs to feel the same, that's the thing I'm trying to preserve. Because, yeah, that's... There you go, that feels almost the same. Yep. The bridge of the nose is much more straight. Have The only curve you see is like... In the middle of the nose or something. Okay, that's done. Kind of wish I could 
because of this jawline though probably can fix it actually can I like this has this has like hang on let's see if I can fix that real quick like, it's just like a straight line just straight down from there there like this So, we've got uh, almost the same feel. Kind of like the fact that they don't have like the lower lip. It's an interesting design choice, but I'm going to put it there regardless because, yeah, lower lips are always there for some weird reason. And you can't explain it. Okay, I'm going to clean this up later. Let's do look at this neck here for a second. Appreciate the neck anatomy. This collarbone is just, I don't know what's going on there. Let's. So, collarbone time. We can get rid of this guide. Actually, no, don't get rid of guides. I made that mistake last time. So, let us proceed with a new next part. It would be collarbone. So, this is anatomy basically because the way they draw collarbone is like from other art pieces. It kind of has like, has a basic idea. The collarbone kind of does this goes into the shoulder and then god knows what happens there but yeah the way i draw collarbones is just hang on i just have like this is a neck right yeah this is a neck <laughs> i need like the entire torso though so i'm gonna draw that real quick is that the entire torso it starts to end down here i made this thing too big in my opinion, but okay, let's see how uh, how far that takes me. Chest facing this way, neck facing that way, and just have this U shape and extend it into the shoulders. This sort of goes back in space slightly. If that makes any sense, because I did that in my pre previous video and I just that was a fun time but it kind of shows actually from here and this one kind of just sits there out in the open I suppose yeah pretty much yep that's basically the shoulder and hopefully I didn't make the neck too long because the neck the part I exposed here is actually surprisingly small like the amount that you see here it needs to be short I always make it too big, so I think I made this ribcage a bit too small, actually. Did I actually do that? I don't know, let's see how far that takes me. Also, this extend up part here is just not right. It should be pointing down like that. It doesn't look obvious. Give me a second. Let me just lighten that up a bit. Because this is going to be another long video. I can smell it. So it's gonna do that basically. At the very least. Like if you're gonna do it as it is, it should point down because the bone kinda looks like that. And then the muscles back here attach to I think they attach to like this part here actually. Or it goes under, one of the two. So it kind of just goes in like that and you have like this little pocket here you can like press into that actually if you like strain your neck but this person's neck isn't strained right now so I'm gonna leave it nice and soft for that edge so let's tone it back actually should I fix the shoulders though I mean the shoulder proportion is kind of good like this part is kind of in front and this part is pushed back I have this guideline though so should I fucking this? I should have drawn on this person though, like where I can see the arms and. But I just realized if I criticize the arms, suddenly my anatomy, arm anatomy, or rather lack thereof, starts to show. So I'm just gonna. Not open that can of worms <laughs> for this video. <laughs> okay, so going on, let's let's get rid of all this then. Get rid of all this. I'll fix it. Oop, nope, nope. 
Nope, 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 nope. Uh, fix that up. Get rid of all this. Drawing back the hair is going to be a real pain though. I'll give it that much. So, put that back in. Let's see how much improvement that makes. I'm going to draw like a very light line. The next knot that's strained is just here to remind me that there's a shadow going on there. And this line, this line does kind of have some importance because this is just the neck, like the actual, this is like the neck turning back in space. Yeah, this is where the neck ends, so I'm going to draw that line there. Because that's important, and this line here. Have it do it in one continuous shape. Actually, you know, this person's chest should be facing up. From what I hear, like, and it just kind of does that sometimes. So, fuck, I should, let me open this back again. It kind of, kind it can do this, though, sometimes, depending on which way the chest is facing. So I'm going to do that. Because that just makes it a bit more feminine, so genders. There's only two of them, don't judge. Airplane and helicopter. So let's go and I'm gonna have to wing it now. Oh god damn it. Why does it keep insisting on showing extras? I do not want extras. Do I keep pressing Ctrl H? Control H, I keep saying Ctrl L. Like an idiot. <laughs> okay, that. Mm -hmm. Draw this. I should pull it from here actually. Like that. And make it symmetrical. There we go. And just nice soft shoulders going down. Actually, that's just. You know what? No, that's not right. They just. No. I'm not gonna, gonna do that. I mean, this is just too low. This is too. Let's see what I did before. Give me a second. Whoops! I messed up. I messed that up. The undo button just gave up on me. Thanks. Do that again. Remember the line. Create it. Da -da -da -ha -ha. Like that. Get rid of that. See where I am. And. Not dynamic. Yeah, it just looks dynamic actually. It has that jaunty angle. No wonder I'm doing it wrong. I didn't see that part there. This line that's barely there. So I'll have to take note of that. Give me a second. Let me just erase this entire thing. No, just not. Can I just. I had a feeling the neck's gonna be a bit too long, maybe? I don't know. Why am I arguing about that now, though? Eh. I make the worst decisions. Okay, let's just put this in for the last time. Because this actually does follow. And get rid of that. And have this unit go in like that. This line kind of just fades off as it goes closer because the neck is not very this is not a strained neck right now so we're not going to do that make the boob kind of here this is the armpit so like I forgot how to draw boobs yeah I'll just accept it that looks decent it's a bit low on the chest in my opinion but or is it not I think it's decent it'll do like, I have nothing to complain here so far. Except maybe here, because I don't know what the fuck's going on there. <laughs> but it's dark, so don't worry, people won't see it. Besides, me focusing on the crotch area for <laughs> 5 minutes is going to be awkward for me too. So, then now for the hands. Oh boy, hands. That is just wrong. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's okay, but yeah, we can fix that. So let's see how far I can fuck this up. So basically when drawing hands, a good tip that I tend to see is just to draw a bunch of mittens basically. Like have a circle, 
or a square actually some people draw squares to represent like the palm of the hand because that's more accurate but really just draw a circle because it's easier because you can turn a circle into a square easy peasy but drawing a perfect circle is just me being an ass because the hand's turning slightly so it's not dead on so I should just draw a rough approximation of hand and get that flow going like that and there we go there's your hand shape and the wrist knuckles yeah basically follow this line actually there's your knuckles and the rest of the hand kind of just follows suit if, if you want to draw a hand just draw like another line kind of follows it but not quite this just sets the flow of, of the knuckles because the hand kind of has a rhythm to it basically and you want to keep it it actually extends to the thumb actually if you want to be precise but uh, well the thumb can be its own beast we'll let it be that we won't we won't discourage the thumb okay now for the other hand because mm, oh well we, have, we did one hand might as well do the other do that same oval shape, oval-ish shape. No, why am I doing this into line? <laughs> That's not a face. It could be a face if it wants to be. Okay, so this hand. Okay, this is a good, a uh, good way to illustrate what I mean by the flow of the hand or whatever. So, like the hand's kind of like doing this, like closed fist kind of thing. The index finger always breaks. Um, kind of doesn't fit the flow thing oh well my brain <laughs> i'm not used to talking this long uh i did it right the first time so mm, let's see so just draw the overall shape of the hand and knuckles so yeah that's basically <laughs> it and maybe this this hand the hand can do that if you want it to but I'd advise against that because usually when you hold a closed fist, it kind of does that actually. Never mind, I was completely wrong. Okay, that's there. Time to completely erase the hands because these are completely off. And redraw the hand, apparently. So let's do that. Oops. Oh, there we go. That's my problem. Erase the hand completely. The hands can't be salvaged. Hands are always hard, so don't worry, you did decent. Because I didn't tell that problem when I saw this pic in the first place, so that means it's doing something right. So, now for the hands. Hands have a rhythm to it regardless. Like, no matter what you do, the hands always have a rhythm. Like, even for, like, poses with no obvious rhythm. For example, like, say... I don't know, f just give the middle finger to someone, like, you know, like that. You can just draw like that, basically. So when you draw the hand, like when you draw the hand, you have, like, the middle finger. And then the index finger. Whatever the fuck this finger is called. And then the pinky, kind of like that. Doesn't look very obvious for me. Give me a second. Let me just turn the hand around. So when you draw this, the thumb goes on top here. Hang on. Oh boy. So yeah, uh, when you old. Also, when you close your fist, all the fingers kind of want to go in the center like that. So basically, so yeah, you can. The hand always, the fingers always have the rhythm to them. Like I can just draw two lines like that, basically. That doesn't that doesn't illustrate at all what I'm trying to go at. Give me a second. God damn it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, professional. Okay. I know. I'm awesome. So, for example, let's pick another pose. Say, for example, a pose that I like to do. Put this up on a higher opacity so I can see what I'm doing. Say, for example, I want like a hand just reaching out, maybe. Like, you know that pose where the arm just like reaching out like that like that's a thing that I like to do so like draw the mitten shape and then from start from here it ends here so that's what you want to keep in mind 
when drawing the hand flow thing. I think that's how it looks. Let's see how accurate that goes. Hopefully I don't mess up. So like we have these two lines basically. This is where the finger bends essentially. So you have like first finger, draw lines there. Second finger bends like that. Third finger bends like this. And then the pinky just instantly just bends in on itself. This finger kind of bends in like this actually. This pose is like this. What am I doing? Oh no. I lied. I'm not professional. I'm gonna retract on what I said. Hopefully you learned something, because I didn't. <laughs> I just lost like a lot of information <laughs> from just doing that. So, mm, lovely, juicy. So, let's just draw the hand. The faster I'm done with this, the faster it's over. Okay, so, come back here, you draw the thumb. Oops. Do that. Thumb extends like that. Have a little curve, make the thumb nice and thin. The thumb's a weird thing. Like what is a thumb? The thumb. The fuck is up with this thumb? Like, is it supposed to do that? Yeah, I think it's supposed to do that. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah it's supposed to do that. Have like a rudimentary knuckle going on there. And then index finger, this finger, have a slight bend to it. Extend it a bit more because that's what the middle, middle finger does. It extends <laughs> a bit. And yeah, just keep that going. I'm going to put this in just there. It doesn't have to be there, but oh well. And a little wrist bone right there, even though that wasn't visible before. Hang on. The hand hands here. A lot of undoing when doing this digital, but okay, hang on a second. This is not right. Okay, there's my hand. Let's draw the fingernails because this person draw fingernails. Oh boy. Make it nice and sharp, pointy. And fingernails because like I said we're gonna at least at the very least if I'm gonna bash on their art I'm gonna keep their art style <laughs> because I am so at the very least it's courtesy he's gonna break into someone's house <laughs> don't break into people's houses I, just, I don't know what was going with that um, outline how thick how thick is that yeah that is about right that is about the right thickness. The line weight on this is a bit stiff in my opinion, but eh, I've done this art. I've done this line style before, so I think it works just fine. I heard this person want to do like a comic style, so I think this works even better for a comic style. It's nice and simple. No need to worry too much about it. Though if you use a stylus, I don't think you have to worry that much about line weight because the line weight makes itself essentially at that point. So there's one hand, and now for this closed fist of a hand. So, okay, so it's just, the thumb is like really pressed up against the hand, like a clenched fist. Oh, like show those arm wrinkles. Closed fist like that, and then the knuckles like that. Keep that flow going. The pinky finger almost always just, disap just disappears <laughs> in this long chain of fingers. It's like the one that gets tucked in the most. So there we go. Looks like big meaty claws right there. Mm. Okay, so... What was I doing? Yes, there we go. Shit, oh wait, hang on, don't do that just yet. Because I forgot to give them their nail polish. Hang on, that's not right. The nail, there's that down. 
and then comes out like that. Pretty much. Actually, I read this person bio, but at the very least, I could add some personality if I wanted to. But oh well, that's just that is the artist's wishes. How much personality they want to show? Because let's, let's be honest, we're all we're not. Um, where was I? My train of thought sometimes just just goes and just completely misses. Okay, so there's your hands. Looks like. A little jaggedy, quick jaggedy. Mm -hmm. That's a good comparison right there, as it is. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'll probably complain about the fabric tear here. That's like a pattern tear, but it doesn't look om It's like almost pattern, but not quite pattern, so it pisses me off ever so slightly. And you want to know what also pisses me off? This. How the f- I should have colored it in. <laughs> um, fuck. Yeah, that's right, phone, you tell them. Um, how do I have uh, mm, color that does nothing? <sighs> okay, I can't do behind. Okay, there's always, there's already something there. I have to, like, multiply this just so I can get exactly under there. So give me a second. If you have, like, a pure black line you can just set it to multiply and just get all in those nooks and crannies without having thing to um what do you call that use the fill tool and get some random pockets of white show up randomly so that's a little tip for any of you who uses photoshop or any kind of program of layers because it's ms paint doesn't have layers and it also doesn't have that multiply option. Every other art program does. Unless it's like, I don't know, a sprite editor. In which case, I don't think it does that as well. So, let's get that. Let me just sample this nail. Oh, it's just the same gray as everything else. Okay. A nice central color scheme. I like it. Keeps everything nice and simple. I said, fuck, I said it to behind, no wonder it didn't, <laughs> no wonder it didn't go over the skin tone here. It did pretty good, though, just avoiding it in general. So, okay, that's done, we can just merge these two together. So let's look at before, uh, after, I mean before, after. I could probably fix this flow though because it's very weird sausage army going on here. I mean, I mean, I don't like it, but I mean, I think it's okay, so I'll let it be. This crotch is, is not, and also this shadow here doesn't make sense either. It kind of, it kind of looks like it's metal. <laughs> you know how like metal poles you have like the shadows on the edges, but not in the center. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like right now. It's like just shiny ass legs. Mm, lovely. So yeah, oh, should I? Prob I should probably fix that. Maybe. I don't know. Let's do some painting, shall we? Yes, painting. An artist's worst nightmare. <laughs> okay, let's do that then. Cause I'm not gonna do line work. Line work is hard. Line work is hard. You can just put that as a quote. At this point, I should probably make this canvas even bigger. But I'm not going to because that just makes things unnecessarily hard. I'm gonna select here. Mm. Okay, that's done. They forgot to. I should probably fix that eye. It's not symmetrical. I mean, the eyes barely are symmetrical in real life if you notice their shapes, but eh, this is art medium. It should look right. Unless you do for go for like. Unless you're really good at realism, in which case you can probably get rid of anything. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
this is this is a this is a mistake. Let me just reduce that average because it's just picking up random it's picking up all the grays that's around it. And hook that up. I don't know what the fuck's going on with this eye. This um, that's like a dark red. I'm gonna go get that crack right under the eyelid and above here, and just blend the two together. Yep, <laughs> that is a blending brush right there. Mm. Lovely, and also because I'm just gonna assume the light source is like a head-on kind of thing, like. Mugshot, maybe. It's not, I keep saying the word mugshot. I don't think I know what it means. <laughs> uh, it's, I'll find out. People are gonna tell me. This is the internet. I'm a critique. I am. I'm a critique. I'm a critic. <laughs> Put that on the t-shirt. I'm a critique. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay, I haven't painted in a long while. So let's just hope this works. Doesn't look need to look good. Just needs to look decent. <laughs> just need to look like lazy Photoshop at it. <laughs> okay, wait, hang on. There we go. <coughs> so I'm just gonna assume this is gonna get a bit darker because the nose is in the way. Because lines. And I'm just gonna put put in this dark shade, lighten it up. Set that to five again because now I have a bit more space to work with. There we go. That down, faded out like this. Should I add a little shadow under their eyes? It's done. It's not done, but usually there's like slight shadow under their eyelids. It's hard to make it look not look like bang bags, eye bags, not bangs. It's hard to like do that and not make it look like they're really tired. Uh, the trick is just to make it like nice and light and have it fade out. Nice. And also probably have it light in the center. That's always a helpful thing. Like this is nicely shaded. Okay, wait. Mm -hmm. You can probably do that as well. I'm pretty sure I'm not <laughs> following the artist's initial. Um, Art style at this point, <laughs> but oh well. You see, it doesn't look like they're tired. You can see the difference, as to opposed to just me just slapping, slapping on like a solid color like that. You could probably do that with um, what do you call that? Cell shading. You just have like two layers to it, basically, like a really light layer for like places like I don't know cheeks maybe for example like this light layer you can just put this on the cheeks maybe and under the eye bags eye eyelids like basically that you can barely see but it adds a bit of volume to it basically okay let's just since I do edit one I might as well do the other just blend it out I'm gonna blend this out as well because and have it blend up to the nose of the nose I'll do that proceed to gradient the fuck out of this despite despite everything of me trying to go with a cell shade keeping with the art style. I don't know what kind of shading this is. It's like soft shading. I don't know. Some people just take a airbrush and just go over everything with the airbrush and like doesn't it's I don't know I just can't do that it, le it leaves ambiguous shadows and I don't like ambiguous shadows <laughs> that's just my preference though but yeah it's good to know exactly where your shadows are at least but at the same time it's, uh, it's hard to know where exactly your shadows 
R and should be. Imagine, does it look right? Before, after, before, after. Yep, it's decent. So yeah, that's the thing. Try using a hard brush and then soften things up where you need to soften them up. Like here, for example, like. Oh man, is that is that the right color? It's kind of lost its effect actually slightly here. Maybe too. For example, here, like I kept this edge nice and hard. My dick. Um, <laughs> so yeah, nice and subtle. Get some under the nose. Give that little Hitler staff going on there. Stilfstum. I think that's what it's called. Just have a little. Just blend it in. Blend it to hell. Okay. And then right under. Right under this. Um, what do you call this? Nostril. What do you call the little thing that comes off the nostril? I forgot completely. Uh, this didn't. I didn't intend this to be a painting lesson, but oh well. Or a painting video, but mm, this is not. This is like the opposite of a speed paint, so I I can dig this. It's a slow paint. Yeah, it's a slow paint. Mm, like that line. Don't want to make it obvious because it's very easy to make people look old. <laughs> that line's obvious. Just nice and subtle. Up and fade this to hell. Okay. Like that. You can barely tell that's even there until you zoom in and just realize holy shit. Actually, I don't even think that's necessary. I'm just gonna get rid of that. There we go. Get rid of this. Get out of here. You're not necessary. But you know what? It is necessary. Like a little shadow. Right under the, l the lower lip. That's not necessary either, but fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in regardless, cause. Mm. Like, only old people don't have lips, to be 100% honest. That's an important thing to note. Like, young people, they have lips, and this lip is not at all facing the right direction. What is wrong with me? You take this line and like this. There we go. Now it's facing the right direction. Fade it in and smooth it out. Still looks kind of skewed, but not quite. <laughs> Actually, holy shit, I just realized something. Like, that just. The eye is just kind of popped. Oh, I don't know where. <laughs> ah, and that's what detail does for you. Huh? Just realize that. Like, look at those eyes. It's like, difference. Right in there. Maybe add a bit of a highlight, maybe. Make that nice white. If that's too much. Yep, there you go. Like, right in the nose, at the cheek here. What am I doing? I should, I should, I shouldn't do this. But I'm having so much fun, though. Oh no! Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not even my piece. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Just like that eyebrow, sort of almost always kind of comes down here, so I have to blend this in like this, like that. There we go. Should I fix the hairline? Because the hairline should be down here at least. Uh, let's just fix the neck first. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of the hair. I'm gonna have to draw that back on later. That's gonna be a real bitch. So, I'm gonna just have this follow the neck slightly. Actually, should this follow the neck? It goes this and goes behind here. It follows behind here. This part gets a bit darker though. 
this part back here can get a little being a bit dark and edgy. So let's just fix that. Gradient your shadows properly or not, keep it go line. Um what do you call that? Shell shade shells cell cell shading. Ah pronunciation is so hard. I have to do like a dozen things right now. Have it go like this and like that. Then have one more band running down the middle. See? Smoothened out. Maybe have one more on the neck here. There we go. It's like almost head on, but not quite. Strong emphasis on shadows, gonna have to gradient this up. Blue stuff on the shirt. There's always a little shadow here. I think I'm gonna leave this part here just a little dark because everything kind of just falls in on itself so I'm just gonna leave a notch there probably and that's gonna just not catch light as easily I suppose I'm trying to justify myself here so I don't too harsh on you guys okay so that's done uh -huh. I'm gonna do this. I should probably go for like a lower opacity brush, but mm, I don't feel like it. It's gonna have like a bit of highlight here though. Right here. And then proceed to blend it the fuck back. Because it doesn't belong. There we go. So that's done, that's done. Pull this. I'm gonna have this collarbone kind of stand out a bit. Because, hey, it's, it's standing out, so might as well pull it out. Put it out there right in the public eye. The eye of the public. In the full view of everyone, so yes, let's do that. I'm not gonna touch torso because fuck me I'm not gonna <laughs> do that this is a painting tutorial at this point so yeah I'm gonna accept that yeah this is a painting tutorial this is not trip with human reviews this is um, a painting tutorial how to paint people look at that nice warm tones here keep have some use highlights sparingly like that very sparingly and it's okay to be sloppy, it just needs to look good okay now for the hand I think the hand is a bit too big actually for her head is it? it just, um, should be a bit smaller yeah that's a proportion thing, I'm not gonna question that nope not a bit, I'm gonna grab this dark thing and just Swab it on the hand, just like how makeup people do it. And just draw in the shadow for the hand. And fade it out a bit. Because yeah, this is this is just a random point on the hand. Unless it's like a hard shad unless it's like a very harsh lighting, like in a room with like a single light bulb. You're not gonna get super like shell shaded look. It's hard to pull out a shell shaded look actually to be hundred percent honest. Because everything just looks like and where was I gonna go with that? Everything kinda just looks like it's lit with a light bulb basically, a single source of light. It's super bright, super contrasting. Just obvious highlights and obvious 
Well, I just talked about how I hate ambiguous highlights, but that's not the point right now. Maybe have this bit darkened a bit just to show that it's going back. Space. Have it lighten up a bit, actually. Just a bit. Much a bit. Da, 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 da. There we go. And pull this out. They have the sleeve here. Gonna draw a shadow for that. I'm gonna cast straight down a straight line across. This one I can keep it sharp because this thing is like very close to it. This shadow here I can smooth it out. Like this is what I'm talking about when I say like draw hard edges and then smooth it out later. Like this line here, I can keep it sharp because it's really close. This sleeve here is casting like a very near shadow, so it doesn't have enough distance to really feather out. As opposed to this thing here, this is just the shape of the hand curving away. So you know how a sphere is always like shaded, all soft and shit. So yeah, that's my reasoning behind that. I'm not going to fix the thighs though, because that's a lot of extra work. Mm-hmm. Yep. So let's see. This is probably gonna be another forty <laughs> this I just love the way I start my videos. I'm like, oh it's gonna be a short video. <laughs> and it ain't a short video. Um actually from the way this is shaded you can see like they put shadows on this side, so I'm assuming that's coming from here. Or at least like mostly from the front, but there's like like slightly to the side. So I'm gonna cast a bit of a shadow on this hand actually. Quite a bit on this side of the thumb and quite a bit here as well. Just gonna fade that in a, quite a bit. Keep it nice and dark here. Mm -hmm. Sloppy edits for the win. Okay, so this side dark gives a bit of direction to your art really. Keeps it nice and grounded. Blending with a hard brush, ladies and gentlemen, is hard. That is just ugly. <laughs> uh, I don't care. So put this here. We'll smooth this out quite a bit. Thumb, don't want to ruin that outline. Like this, slightly. Mm -hmm. Have a lot of darkness here though because this is a crease in the hand. Keep it nice and dark there. Keep it light here. And keep it. No, actually, no, keep it dark there actually. Keep it dark but not all the way dark. There. <laughs> uh, I love that statement. Keep it dark, but not too dark, but dark enough, so it doesn't <laughs> like spend my entire, it's like an art session <laughs> all over again. Make it like this, but not quite like this, it has to feel like it. Like, thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, got that crease in there. Smoothing, I am just tired, I'm being sloppy. I should have thought that through before coming into this. This is the same color at the very least. No wait, no wait, that's not right. Smooth it out a bit. There we go. It's too dark before. And maybe soften it a bit. Just a bit. Kinda looks like the way you shade shit kind of shows the shape of it. And it kind of looks like a cube. <laughs> oh man, should I abandon it? Uh, mm, eh, fuck it, no. No, too late for that. Just gonna darken this because this is under the knuckle. The knuckle's gonna catch the light and just block it from the fingers. So I'm gonna make all the fingers a nice, simple, dark color. Also, because I'm lazy. This one gets a bit of a different treatment because the knuckle isn't very obvious. So I'm gonna have to make the shading less intense, basically. For here. 
because that's what lines do. That's what lines do to kind of tell you where, to an extent, lines kind of tell you where to put shadows and whatnot, because that's what lines are in real life. They say lines don't exist in real life, but they kind of do. Like that's when like two shapes connect, you get this occlusion basically, like where light doesn't get in by default. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take this half of the image and just get rid of it. Because we need a before and after image right now. So take this and put this person right here. And I'm gonna erase whatever behind here. Da -da 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 -da. Oh wait, shit, I forgot the hair. Oh man, hair. Okay, the hair over the face. Mm. Not my, not a personal favorite of mine, mm, but, <sighs> oh, there you go, there's a problem. There, there's the shading we were looking at. No wonder it looks off. Oops, wrong layer. I just say that because I'm, <laughs> I'm just making up excuses as I go. It's not shaded enough. There. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, hang on, let's need to do this. It's not contrasting enough. Da, 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 da. There, like that. Because definitely keep your shadows on skin nice and um, soft, basically. Don't go too sharp unless that's what you want specifically. I'm gonna have to refine a lot of things. I don't have to, but. Oh well, just for the final look of it. Fuck it. Hair on the face. I don't. Not a real fan of it, especially this. <laughs> this is gonna be annoying as hell. <laughs> just have eye. Uh, just hair just poking in your eyes constantly. But oh well, that's it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna outline that. Hair, if it's especially messy, you can get away with not having that much shading in the first place. It saves you time and it also prevents it from looking super oily, which is kind of ugh, not very pleasing. Unless that's the look you want, like messy and oily hair. It's what you want, then you do you. Do you. you do you. Technically, I can just not do that. Yeah, that's an option for me. So, I'll just have the hair kind of do this and then do this, basically. Go away. And there we go. That's the hair. Should I bring this hairline down? I was gonna do it, but I never did it, so... Mm. I mean, I could, like, the more I point it out, the more obvious it becomes, so fuck it. Bring her down, boys. Just erase all this. Hang on, keep, make the color consistent, because it's, like, nice dark. Hair color. Take this. Pull this down, at least here. Should be where the hairline starts, because, yeah, it's a nice young person. Hair's not being pulled all the way back, so, mm. Yes, it is. Maybe have it fade in a bit slightly because this is a hairline. Her hair is all nice and thin, so you can see the skin underneath it. Same go with eye. Same go with eyebrows. By the way, uh, dark like that, and proceed to fade it out. That should be faded out at all. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Consider this faded. Okay, now to draw the rest of the hair. Keep that there. And the hair kind of just this right here. this and like that 
actually it's not blended enough give me a second I need to blend this a bit more there we go make it a bit more obvious that it is hair make it more hair and less skin that's what I say and give it a bit of dimension to this because it kind of looks a bit directionless and voila before and after so yeah as you can see it does look a bit less stiff the face has a bit more direction to it as opposed to this the neck anatomy fixed that a bit like basically anatomy you need to work on that a lot not a lot it's decent as it is but yeah it does need a bit of work the posing is decent for what it is it's expressive doesn't feel overtly stiff so okay so that's basically all I have to say so if you find this useful I appreciate it I'm not trying to but I appreciate it thank you for watching and watch